My name is Marcia Daft. I'm a classically trained pianist, so I integrate music with mathematics. I'm also trained in Dal Crow's Eurythmics, which is a technique of integrating music and dance. So I integrate creative movement with mathematics. The age range of students that I work with is preschoolers through sixth grades. The areas of mathematics that really pinpoint beautifully and connect perfectly with music are your number concepts. So you look at math and you start to look at it from a perspective of what are the sequences in math? What are the grouping systems? What are the pattern systems? What are the organizational systems? And all those concepts like pattern, grouping, and sequence that form the foundation of mathematics, they can all be represented in rhythm and in movement. So if I give you a very simple example of bum 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 bum. We have three notes that are the same and one that is different. So if I were looking at it from a pattern perspective, I might say A, 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 B. So I have a group of three A's and then one B. So very simply, I could look at that as a group of three plus a group of one gives me a group of four. Now if I repeat it, A, 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 B, A, 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 B. I have two groups of four, or two groups of three plus one. So when we are creating musical phrases and playing them on our bodies, ba ba da ba da bum bum ba, I can feel that A, B, A, B, A, B, C, 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 right? I can put down cards that go blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, green, 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 so I can lay it out pictorially with colors, or I can use icons that show the movement. I can feel it, I can hear it, I can see it, I can play it with you, I can do the A, B, A, B, A, B, and you can finish me off with the C, C, C. So I'm doing the two and the two and the two that make the six, and then you're adding on the three that get me to nine. So I can break everything down into ways that are highly concrete, highly visual, highly social, highly auditory, and highly kinesthetic. So the children are experiencing a very simple idea in mathematics through different modalities. The instruction is very collaborative and the assessments are highly formative. The actual assessment is built in to the instruction at every minute. And the teachers can say, I'll play something, you play it back for me. They can see if the kids can play it back for them. They can't play it back unless they understood the organization. Then she can say, tell me what it represented or tell your neighbor what it represented. So, uh, or write it on your whiteboard what it represented. And 25 little whiteboards go up. <laughs> what I personally find the most exciting about arts integrated mathematics is that I can reach my challenged students and my gifted students in the same lesson at the same time. So I have plenty of creative challenges that will really make my gifted and talented students go to the top end of their thinking. And there's plenty of movement experiences that make the thinking come alive and become more visible for students who don't speak English or who have other types of academic challenges. So that's the beauty of integrating the rhythm and the movement in with the conceptual thinking.